Hello traders, welcome back to the Forex Boat Trading Academy for the second time today. The reason uh, for that is because I do see the potential for the weakness of the pound and I wanted to share that with you. And this is the second analysis pound related. The first we had with the euro versus pound and now it's a pound versus New Zealand dollar. And here is also an interesting price action. First off, look at this resistance here at 1.9696 which is very close to the 197 psychological resistance moving to the daily chart this is clearly a triple top because now most likely the daily close will be lower and the price should continue to start declining obviously the daily close will be very important but now it seems like it's getting very bearish. There was a rejection of 200 exponential moving average at this stage. Now price spiked higher to kick the stop losses out and this could result in a, a downside move. This is this analysis uh, basically correspond to the euro pound. If, if I would just look at the pound New Zealand alone, I would not be that certain. But here we definitely have this potential for the downside wave, at least one wave to the downside. You can see that this uptrend trend line has been rejected, broken, then it acted as the resistance. Just let's see the hourly chart. So here, rejection of this trend line and this could be this starting phase of the wave to the downside. Now in regards to the downside potential, this is um, level at 1.9552 which corresponds to two Fibonacci retracement level. First I've applied to this downside wave where we have FIBs. If you look, we have 61.8 FIBs and there is another FIBs which is 50% retracement. And this is based on this wave to the upside. So these two FIPS correspond to each other cleanly. And I think there is this potential for this move to the downside. Besides, we have this downtrend trend line, which also corresponds to this support. And which means this could be a very fast move to the downside. Now, the confirmation of what I think is one hour close below this support level that should confirm the bearish outlook but as long as the price hourly candle stays above uh, there is a risk of further uptrend so waiting for this candle to close could give the further clues on the price development and it could be pretty bearish we can see that target is crossing with a downtrend trend line on the 22nd which means it can take just two days for this downside move which might equal to 145 pips so pretty fast move to the downside that i do think will occur on this pair it almost corresponds to the moving averages besides there is a breakout of the 200 exponential moving average you can see the price rejected it here with a spike and this is the cleanly corresponds to this level as well i think this should be pretty nice move to the downside but let's see on the one hour time frame what will be happening here where the price will manage to close or not if yes it should start and should be pretty fast now just a quick quick run up through all the previously made analysis because we already did it today now euro new zealand dollar continues you can see the trend just goes non-stop this is a pretty strong uptrend euro canadian dollar same moves to the upside euro versus dollar same euro japanese yen same Euro Swiss franc also starting to look bullish. Euro Australian dollar same, nothing changed. Euro pound, look, this bullish candle just shows the strength for the for the euro, and also now it corresponds to the potential weakness on the pound, which we will try to basically capture. And on the Australian versus dollar, we have just tested the downside support so this means that the australian dollar could be going up it could and uh because the australian dollar is highly correlated to the new zealand dollar this means that the new zealand dollar could go up and for this reason it also corresponds to this downside move of the pound new zealand dollar so weak new zealand dollar sorry weak 
pound and strong New Zealand dollar, this should be pretty fast one. I like this uh, that we tested the downside target. So congrats who followed and had the same view on this currency pair. I'm gonna close it and not follow it anymore since we are done with it. And Ethereum, nothing has changed. Gold, nothing has changed. Silver, also same. New Zealand, Canadian dollar. This is a bearish, as I said. I will not be following it anymore. I will close it. But what we might see is basically corrective move to the upside and then the downtrend because it does start to look bearish. Nonetheless, I will stop following it. So closing the chart and uh, euro pound, very nice bullish candle continues to rise and we expect the same scenario for the pound New Zealand dollar. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the future analysis and obviously smash the like button and comment if you have any questions we'll talk to you tomorrow take care